So here we are in front of the gateway to Aachen Sadra city, the capital of Umengol province, the southernmost province in uh, Mongolia. As you can see, the province is famous for its uh, camels. So that's why they have camel statues on both sides of the gate. So Umengol province is located about uh, 500 kilometers south of Lambator because it's a Gobi area. It's a relatively warmer than the central and uh, other provinces. Here is the proud and pride of Umngobi province, the famous two-humped Mongolian camel. So it is, uh, it is said that the Gumnugo province is like a homeland of Gobi and uh, camels. And here is another statue built uh, on the right side of the gateway to the city. It's a statue of three Mongolian princesses. I don't know the meaning behind it, but it looks really aesthetically pleasing. And here's the police car that is escorting us. The sunset in Gobi Desert, Umgo province. Hello everyone from Tazun Zatrat city, the capital of Umungo province. So I'm standing in front of the sports and cultural center of uh, Tazun Zatrat city. So I'm here because of the national championships of uh, judo. As I told you guys, I work for the judo club and our athletes are taking part in this national championships. So my first impression of the city is uh, it's, it's, it's really uh, relatively warm. For example, uh, right now in Ulaanbaatar, it's about minus 35 degrees. But now here in uh, Dalsanzatrat city, it's around minus seven or six. This is because, because it's Kobe desert and it's located in the southern part of the country. So it's logical because uh, Gobi desert is uh, relatively warmer than the rest of the country. So today is the first day of the competition and there are six athletes from our club is taking part and we are staying at a hotel. I'm gonna do my walking tour uh, in, a, in an hour and the also one thing I noticed is that the air pollution is bad because uh, yes last night when I was uh, approaching the city by car quality of air was really bad. I think it's because of the uh, raw co coal that they burn here. So the Umgo province is famous because the Mongolia's most famous uh, and lucrative mine, Ayutotra, is located here. It's a breadwinner of our country and uh, most of the Mongolian GDP is made here. So let's check, about, let's check out this cool statue. I think it's a statue of a wrestler. So it says Mongolia's uh, line-ranked wrestler, Dimul. So he was a famous wrestler from the 70s, I think. And his statue is standing right in front of the cultural and sports palace. So 
So here's what it looks like in the inside. And here's our athletes. There's a cinema inside. There's a ticket box. So it's a cultural and sports palace. So there's a cinema inside. You can watch Dr. Doolittle and Disney's Onward. So it says national championships for judo seniors. So here are all the famous athletes and the cultural workers from this province and athletes. And the trophies that they won. A lot of trophies. This one catches my eyes. So Mongolian traditional wrestling is one of the most famous sports in Mongolia. And it's a source of pride. Let's check out the main hall of the competition. So this is where the competition will take place. It's a tatami. It's a big arena. So Dalton Zadrat has been developing rapidly in the past few years because of the Ayutthaya mine. Ayutthaya has been investing a lot to the development of the province. That's why they have this beautiful palace. For example, this is the cinema. Now let's check out the training room where the athletes are training. It says also pool, so they have a water sports swim pool here. So this is where the athletes are training right now. So these are the future of Mongolian judo. Let's not disturb them. And this is another training area for uh, cyclists. <laughs> yep, that's about it and I'm gonna do more vlogging next time. Well, I'm going to